Hey guys, it's Tim from RetroTech. Today we're going to do a quick little tutorial video on how to use our DM32 configurator software to transfer the firmware to your DM32 gauge. So first thing you got to do is go to retrotech.com slash DM32 dash configurator dash software 2 dot HTML. I'll post the link also in the bottom of the video. So you come here and you download the DM32 configurator software and after you install that make sure and restart your computer shut it all the way off and all the way back on and that'll just make sure that the drivers for the DM32 get into the system okay so I've already downloaded it and now we're inside the DM32 configurator so the first thing you're gonna want to do is take your gauge and then you connect the USB port on the bottom of it to your computer so let's get that plugged in right here. And then it's going to automatically locate your gauge right here in the light blue in a second here. Still searching. Okay, there it is. So it's found my gauge. If you notice that little exclamation point, that yellow one, that lets you know that there's a new firmware version available. So the next step is just to download the update. This latest firmware update will be build 51B1 which will include a couple new device listings like our new 500 series commercial duct testers, the Retrotech Flowbox, and an exciting new remote logging feature we're working on that'll be out soon. Okay, let's click Next. And then click Update. And if you'll notice, it gives you this warning really quick that after your gauge restarts, unplug it and plug it back in to complete the updates. Very important part of this update process. So you can notice up here in the status window, it's starting to upload the image files. And any other files that are required. Okay, so the firmware update has completed, but we're not done yet. Uh, you may have noticed your gauge was displaying a little flashing blue screen or a, a wait screen on it, but we're going to hit OK. Okay, now we're going to disconnect the gauge from the USB and then reconnect it again. Wait for it to rediscover. Okay, it's found it again, and now you got your update is complete. Okay, and everything looks good on the front of the gauge, so we're going to hit yes. Update is complete. Okay, and that is all there is to it. Go ahead and unplug your gauge and reset your gauge again by shutting it all the way off and turning it back on, and you should have the latest firmware from Retrotech installed on your gauge. Thanks for watching, and if there's any questions, just drop us a line at support at retrotech.com.